when she didn't have the energy to do her own hair anymore. And she encouraged both me and my mom to do what we loved. She was aware of what we to give her. Thanks to individuals like Terry, Tessa, the Magic Shop Group, her babies online, and all her fellow armies, Kristen received the comfort and belonging that kept her grounded. She also met Jamin, her boyfriend who loved her and cherished her. Jamin, I am so sorry you never got to meet each other face to face, but she loved you with her whole heart and soul, and I want you to never forget that. My sister Kristen was cheerful, stylish, outgoing, always put together, nails always done, her outfits, whether she was going to a doctor's visit or going out, always color coordinated and put together the night before. My last memory of Kristen was her walking into my room to ask me which of the two tops she had in her hand would go best with her leggings and some to wear. She was filled with love for her friends, but didn't put up with those that wasted her time. She was my sister, my best friend, and my confidant. Kristen went home to God on Sunday, the 3rd of July. She was ready to go. And I know God, his angels, and the family who went before us were waiting for her with open arms. So Chrissy, I love you. I wish you well. I wish you safe journey into paradise. Be at peace and take care. Thank you. Follow your program. See, we have here the opening prayer. So let us stand for the opening prayer, please. Almighty God and Father, it is of a certain faith that your Son, who died on the cross, was raised from the dead, the first fruits of all who have fallen asleep. Grounded through this okay, so. If I had an hour, as Jesus said, at an hour you may not expect. It may be in the third presently enjoying right now. But Kristen certainly be able to speak with her on the phone. And uh, our conversations would be lengthy, but many times I did not get her. And I believe that it was because she was either in the hospital receiving treatment or she was just sleeping because, you know, pain and shock. As a brave soul, I salute her as a person of faith. I salute her as a person who endured, say that her sufferings would be transformative. Her sufferings would be purifying. And that God in his mercy will say, Christian, you have suffered enough. Come into the glory prepared for you. We, I thank God, and I'm sure most of you who knew her and knew various aspects of her personality would be first aspect or the other. For me, it was her patience and her forthrightness, the ability to speak about her pain and her suffering without hiding anything. And underlying that was her deep trust in God, her deep trust in God. So for that trust in God that she displayed, I say, Kristen, thank you. 
I wish that if I were to find myself under similar circumstances, that I would have that faith and that trust. Today, we say farewell to you, your soldier, your sol the soldier who was endured, the soldier who has suffered, the soldier who has, who has known periods of happiness sandwiched between periods of great pain. And so what can I say, brothers and sisters, what can I say? But to ask you to pray for her, that her faith, which she showed in Jesus, would not have been misplaced. That her sufferings endured would be purificative, purifying, and uh, making her ready to receive the reward that God has for her. Come ye blessed into the kingdom prepared for you. Come ye blessed. And so we ask that God in his mercy would say these words to her. Come blessed Christian. Come you who endured. Come blessed Christian whose pain reminded me of the pain that my son endured. The pain which many people at her age probably would not have endured. So from the crucible of pain and suffering, may she be ushered into that glory, that place where there is no more pain, no more suffering, no more parting. And I remember visiting her once and I told I, I carried with me a mini Portugal. Is the mini Portugal plant still, right? So anytime you see the mini Portugal plant in the yard, remember, that was my gift to Christian. And we pray that our love for her will not diminish. That we, brothers and sisters, who have seen, who have witnessed the pain that she suffered will also remember the pain of others. This afternoon at Gasparillo I have another funeral and this is also, uh, this funeral is a, a funeral of a young lady but she was, uh, you know, 41 or 42 and who died from breast cancer. All right, she too endured her pain. So as I do all these funerals, brothers and sisters, and I'm conscious of the pain of the people who die in that state, I am chastened in a way, and I am humbled because I myself have not experienced that type of pain. Brothers,
in him the stone that was sad and sold by the power by the promise of immortality in thee for your faithful Lord life is changed not in death and when this earthly dwelling turns to dust an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven and so with angels and powers of heaven we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we are glad
Let us stand these for the prayer after communion. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body, food for the journey, mercifully grant that, strengthened by it, our sister Kristen may come to the eternal table. Ways, let us say grief of our sister Kristen. May our farewell express our affection for her. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet her again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death. Our sister Kristen, and the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, she will rise with him on the last day in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in heaven. Merciful Lord, turn towards us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant Christian and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith. Until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our sister forever. Now. one of them have added to the blessings of Christian life and she loved them so much. To her uncle Keith, man of few words but a lot of heart who when she called he would listen. To her auntie Sharon who was her fashionista, her dress person who made sure Christian had a different outfit to go to dialysis every time she has to go. Sharon you made Christian's heart so happy for what you did. To Rhonda Henry, Rhea Supersad, the Princess Town West Secondary Team, the SJC Team. These people allowed Marcel and I to leave school when we had to leave school. And even as I am retired, they are still here, they are still with me. And I am most grateful for their prayers and for their support. To Davon. Davon was Kristen's caregiver. Davon and Kristen did a lot of mischief while I was not at home but they were very happy. And today I thank Davon for what she did for Kristen. To all my relatives, some are here, some are not, I say thank you, thank you. Because you helped me, you helped Marcella, you helped us to stand firm to do what we had to do. God has been good to us. His blessings overflowed. So this morning I say, let us rejoice and we thank God for his many, many, many mercies. Amen.
indeed, many hands are needed on deck. So thank you all very much. Again, I thank you know, those who were in the house and those who were here by and really had challenging moments, I'm sure, at the time. Okay? So let us start, please. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in the love and peace of the Lord. Amen. You're broken down and tired of living life on a merry-go-round. And you can't find a but I see it in you, so we gon' walk it out Move mountains We gon' walk it out and move mountains And I rise up, I rise like the day I rise up, I rise on a break I will 